Barcelona Metropolitan Magazine was founded in 1996 by a British lady named Esther Jones. And Esther founded the first magazine that was dedicated to the English-speaking community of Barcelona. Since then, the magazine has evolved in exploring many different sectors. And through the years, it became the magazine of reference for anyone who speaks English in Barcelona. One of our main goals uh, with the new team at Barcelona Metropolitan is staying true to describing the lifestyle of what it's like to be an expat. So our articles are written by expats for expats. When you get here, you very quickly fall in love with the city. There's this newlywed period where everything in Barcelona is wonderful. You explore all the different scenes of the city, from finding the best restaurants and tapa bars to seeing the best sites and hangout spots. There's so many things to see and do here that it can be overwhelming, especially if you don't speak the language. And that's where Barcelona Metropolitan comes in, to guide you through your expat journey and to find the best places for you to enjoy the city. But as you get a handle of life on the city here, there starts to become more important issues and obstacles that you have to be aware of, such as getting your documents, to finding a place to live, to understanding the political situation here, and learning all the ins and outs of how to you know, get around easier. We've recently been covering the protests for the independence movement of Catalonia. It's a big topic we show from an expat's perspective, as it's something that affects city life for all expats. So we're here today, it's a couple of hours after they've just released the Supreme Court ruling, which charged between nine and 12 members of the Catalan leaders of the independence movement with sedition. They weren't prosecuted for rebellion, but the ruling on Oriol Junqueras, who's the leader of the independence movement, was 13 years. Yeah, we're here today to speak to some of the, the huge crowds who are developing here on Gran Via and to, yeah, get a feeling of the protest in what is probably the culmination of months and months of trials in Madrid. So we've got here from 2016 the sections New in Town and Street Life as well, which is basically the best pictures that people have taken from around the city that month. And this one is celebrating 20 years of the magazine and you can just see how it's changed really over the years. When I came on board, I discovered that actually there was a lot of people who were interested in previous issues of the magazine. And we, looked out, we found out that we had archived all of the way back to 1996, the very first ones. And occasionally we get phone calls from people who want to buy things, uh, buy old magazines, and we're happy to sell it to them. We are enhancing the experience for our online media audience by starting video and audio documentaries, adapting articles into videos, and even releasing weekly podcasts. This is one of our first podcasts that I'm editing now. It was with Alex Rawlings. He speaks 15 languages and is a language ambassador based here in Barcelona. Hello and welcome to Un Curtado Con from Barcelona Metropolitan. I'm Harry Stott. Now today I'm sat in a lovely cafe on Paseos de Gracia. I'm thrilled to be having Un Curtado Con Alex Rawlings. Alex, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks so much for, uh, for coming on. I've got to address is the, uh, the polyglossal elephant in the room, so to speak. So you speak 15 languages. What are they? Um, so my first language is English. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm from the UK. I'm from Greece. I wasn't I should have been counting. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. So, so generally it's kind of European languages that mm -hmm. I've been learning. I'd also love one day to finally sit down and learn Arabic. I'd love to learn Turkish. I mean, the problem is that once you start to listen, <laughs> yeah, once you go down that, because yeah. each one of these languages is just it's just a whole world. You know, I, I want to keep on with the languages that I've got and want to using them to kind of you know keep enriching my life and broadening my perspectives. Thank you all for listening to this episode of Uncultado Con. We'll be back next Thursday. <laughs>